Yeah, it's leaking. It started to. Just a little bit though. Where the fuck is it coming from? It's coming from the oil filter. I think we need to tighten even more. It fucking sucks. But it stops, so. You want to just try to wrench? Yeah, fine. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna try to tighten up a little bit because it seems to be leaking. You getting a grip? Uh, yeah. Uh, what was that? It slipped. One second. Oh, like, uh, I think it's because of this ring. What? Did, did, did our thing have this, this this rubber thing? Yeah, it had. You sure? Yeah, I'll put it under there. Uh, that's why I guess it was tight and so tight. Uh, now it's tight, definitely. Yeah? It's not moving at all. Alright, all right, start the engine and then we're gonna. Uh, See how it runs. Did you pour all the oil already? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh wow. Oh. You got a free hand? So we are here we are at the final stage. We finally put the oil in. The car starts up. Now we're gonna make sure that it's not leaking. <laughs> so here we are at the bottom. Check out that the thing doesn't leak. It just drips. Uh -oh. uh, I gotta wipe this down. We had some oil leakage before. So we wanna make sure it's not leaking because we're right now. It looks like it's fine. It looks like we did our job. So everything is A okay. So far. Anyway, so this has been a long process. It shouldn't have been that long. But it turned out to be a long journey. It turned out to be a long journey into us doing our own oil change. But you have to understand that we're not trade mechanics. And uh, yeah, here we are. I'm gonna take out the stick. No, you don't want to take out the stick when it's running. You want to turn off the engine. Really? Yeah. And let it sit there for a couple minutes, and then you can check. Okay, so we just let it hang out. Yeah, you should turn off the engine and let it hang out. How do you feel about yourself? I feel uh, dirty. All right. <laughs> That's how mechanics feel now. I just don't. Oh uh, man, I didn't think there was gonna be such a journey. Yeah, and you know, like this I, these new cars are so much harder to work on than like I had. The, my first car was '77 Cadillac. You can change everything right there. You just go in there and go out, and you can be done in half an hour. This has turned out to be a fucking hour and a half journey. All right, peace and out. We'll see what happens. Car dies. There won't be no video. Blame it on Oleg. <laughs>
<laughs> Alright, bye. Alright, now we have our, uh, our booklet. Let's see, 10,000 miles now. Closer. 10,000. And it's upside down. Let's see if we can try it like this. Alright. 10,000 miles or 12 months. Replace engine oil and filter. Check. Dealer service certification. Yeah, okay. We did this by ourselves. But we will sign ourselves. Oh, it's uncomfortable. You can, you can see me sign it. There's that sound. You can watch me. Just fill out the paperwork. Oleg K. That's me. And we'll put Oleg A which is the person, my friend, that was helping me. Today's date is the 26th of June, 626. And mileage is 9925. 9925. Parkway Toyota did the car at Four thousand eight three uh, nine eight three zero. Oh. I mean, so that's four thousand eight three zero oh. four eight three zero. Oh. Um, yeah. Tomorrow I'll do the tires. It's getting late. Yeah. I read some forums, I watched some videos how to do this, I didn't think that it would turn into such a hell. Then got a friend who had an experience with this and I've done this before. I regret unfortunately the car previous to this I owned and it was a Ford Focus and I should have taken the time to learn these things by myself. But this is a new car. Oh, one more thing. Um, in order to reset the maintenance light I had to uh, put the odometer to A. It shows trip A. Hold it down before the car. I mean, if I have the car on uh, run on battery, don't turn it on. Have it set on trip A. Hold trip A, and then turn on the car, and the maintenance lights will go away. Now I have the um, tire pressure light on, so I'm gonna look through my books and figure out how to do that. It's pretty much the same concept. So yeah, hopefully this is gonna help some some people. Uh, this is. I guess it was fun. Uh, Got a jack stand, it's hard, you know, you need to lift up the car. We were struggling for the most part because we didn't have such uh, equipment or we were trying to save money. So, thank you.